Hi, I'm Brit and this is my hair. I've been growing it pretty much my whole life. That means I've got a lot to spare. And you know what? There are people out there who could really use this hair. So I've decided to cut it off. So this was me back in February when I decided it was time for a bit of a change. I decided to donate my hair to a charity that makes wigs for kids. So weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there are lots of reasons that kids might need a wig. My hair. Maybe because they're going through chemotherapy or because they've got something called alopecia. To find out more about that, I decided to ask an expert. This is Tabitha. She's had alopecia nearly all her life. The alopecia is a condition where you lose your hair. Um, you can lose it just from your hair or all over your body. I lost it all over my body because now I'm starting to lose my eyebrows too. She told me that alopecia is caused by a person's immune system. It's designed to fight germs to keep us healthy, but sometimes it gets kind of confused. In people with alopecia, the immune system attacks the hair follicles, and that means the hair can fall out. For some people, it's just temporary, and for others, it might be permanent. But it's not dangerous, and you can't catch it. Well, when you lose your hair, it is sad in a way, but then uh, I look at the positives, like I can't get an now, and I don't have to really worry about washing my hair that much. It does feel, make me feel a bit special, because I'm like the only one in my school that has it, so I feel special that I have it. Tabitha has a few different wigs and hats that she can mix and match. So there's Velcro and there's also Velcro attached to the hair and you take it off. But wigs made from human hair can cost thousands of dollars. They're often handmade, which takes a long time, usually around eight to 10 weeks. And each one uses about 10 to 20 ponytails. That's where my hair comes in. It was long and it hadn't been dyed, which made it perfect for wig making. The charity I donated it to gives wigs to kids like Tabitha so they can feel comfortable. Yeah, it makes me feel special that I can be included so I don't feel left out because I don't have hair. But of course, not every kid without hair wears a wig. And Tabitha says, in the end, it doesn't matter if you have hair or not. Her message to other kids with alopecia is that they should be themselves and do whatever makes them feel good. I would tell them that they shouldn't be afraid to not wear like wigs or beanies because it doesn't matter what other people think, it's what you think about yourself. With alopecia, it's not the look, it's the inside that counts, to my saying and uh, people just sometimes think that it's the looks that matters, but it's not really. It's the inside.